for Brink. We needed to look for people that knew how to take our crazy ideas and make them work. And we needed people to have crazy ideas. The great thing about being at Splash Damage, to be honest, is that there's a, a huge amount of trust. Paul had already heard what I'd done on previous titles and trusted me to continue my ongoing work on trying to find that perfect shotgun sound or that perfect RPG or that perfect explosion. If you're trying to push the boundaries, if you're trying to do stuff that other people haven't done before, then realistically you need to go down the route of recording your own source material. trip to Nevada was to go out and record, I think it was in the end about 45 different weapons. There was one weapon which was, the, I think it was the Barrett sniper rifle. The armorer basically said it sounded like God coughing because it was that loud. I think we're, we're taking a lot of risks, and that's one of the things I like about the project. The smart system, the, the merging of the multiplayer and the, and the single player, those are all pretty, pretty big risks, frankly. And when I came here and interviewed with Splash Damage, I realized this is my chance. I could actually finally do all this stuff that's been in the back of my head for 10 years. Even now, I am slightly dazzled and stunned by how much work, by how many different people go into making a game, and how ideas get passed along and improved and iterated on. And so by the time something ends up in the game, it's been concepted in text, it's been, you know, this concept image, it's been sketched, it's been drawn, it's been modeled, it's been textured, it's been lit, it's had physics, it's had gameplay. And just seeing the team, how they've really taken ideas and run with them. The heart of it all, and I know that this is something that developers say over and over again, but we do just want to make the games that we play. We've been playing hardcore multiplayer games for such a long time while enjoying these really rich, narrative-driven single-player game experiences, and we just wanted to bring those two halves together into one game, and it's something that we're finally achieving with Brink. It's a game that will draw you in, that will give you interesting things to think about while you're doing really cool action shooter stuff. It may be the first game that's grabbed you in that way. Weapons cold in and out before they know we are here.